Hey everybody, Bear Tracker Nature Films here, and I've been following the path left by a brush rabbit, um, and it, it actually goes in here, um, but this is really tangled up with blackberry vines, so I can't get in there, but I wanted to show you what I was seeing here. So all around the edge of this brushy area in here, you can kind of see how the rabbit's been able to come out and uh, stay near cover but still feed on grasses right out here. So all the grasses that are very close to cover have been cropped right down to the ground almost and, and uh, they've been fed upon. And also, if you look at these, I don't know if the camera's going to focus. Let me try it again. So you can see by the tips of these blackberry brambles that they've also been fed upon. In there, note that there are uh, incisor marks on it. So I wanted to show you on these how they've been kind of nibbled right through the cambium layer and into the actual blackberry vine itself, which is kind of pithy in the center, but it looks like the rabbit's been feeding on this. Um, it's got that little angled cut on the tip, and uh, so does this one here. So notice how there's an angled cut to this thing. And this is a blackberry cane. So this is the characteristic angled cut that you get when rabbits are feeding on on a vegetation. They make this, uh, some people call it a 45 degree angle, but close to that. It's not quite, but that's the, the typical cut on the tip of something that's been fed upon by rabbits. And all of these blackberry canes in here are showing that same cut on the tips as well as that one I showed you where it was in the center of the the uh, bramble cane so the rabbits have been busy in here but they, they are not going very far from cover so all this feeding activity is taking place right here this is the edge where it comes out in the open and then if you get in here it gets into tangled brush and that's where these rabbits find safety because they're very small, they only weigh a couple pounds and uh, they need to be near cover and so they have little tunnels that go all through here and they they can walk through that grass and hide themselves very well I've seen them down here a few times but they tend to stay still when they're in the open and uh, they watch for danger very carefully so this is a um, feeding sign on blackberries and uh, this is brush rabbit feeding sign so notice how they went past the bark on the outer part of this, but the end still shows that clipped area there. Brush rabbits will feed on other vegetation. Obviously the grass around here shows signs of having been clipped short also. This little area of grass is completely clipped short, and uh, it's uh, not been very uh, wet this winter. We haven't had much rain, and so there's not a lot of things growing, and so the rabbits have kind of been forced to eat things that maybe aren't all that nutritious for them. They're eating this grass right here. See the sharp cuts on there? And uh, I had to put my hand in here to get the camera to focus. But the stems are also being fed upon. So this particular one shows quite a lot of feeding activity has been done on this one stem. Oops. Problem with these is they stick to you. <laughs> so look at the end. And note that angled cut again on the end of it, the very tip, just like this one right here. And you can even pick out incisor marks in these. So this is the tiny little world of the brush rabbit. And uh, they don't go very far from cover because they are very small cottontails. And uh, they're prey for most of the animals out here. So they don't want to go out in the open. So they tend to feed very close to an escape route or a place where they can go hide very quickly. So you'll find their, their feeding sign um, probably less than 10 feet from a good place with cover. So there's a little area right here within about two feet of the edge of this deck. And under the deck there's a very worn spot. So see how the ground is kind of worn flat? And all around you can see where all the grasses have been nibbled on. If the camera will focus. But note how they've all been clipped right down to the ground. And that goes until about 
two or three feet away from that deck and then the rest of these grasses are all taller and haven't been clipped. So this is the survival strategy of the brush rabbit. They'll come out here but not very far out in the open. They want to be really close to this hole right here where they can run in and hide from predators and get to safety. So the feeding sign is very close to this and uh, let's see if the camera will refocus. But notice how far I'm standing. My feet are on about the edge of the area that has been consumed. The grasses have been consumed by the brush rabbits. And you can tell the difference in the um, length of the grasses. They're all short in this sort of se semicircular area. But out here you have tall grasses. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the feeding sign of the brush rabbit. And I hope it's helped you learn more about tracking and that you enjoyed it. Thank you.